We also we talked about the UFC and if, if it's wrong to do MMA and everything. I, I also want to mention one other thing that I have a problem with when it comes to UFC, and I want to know your opinion about it. Uh, I noticed that UFC uh, uh, tries to mention U.S. Marines and uh, our boys in Iraq. Uh, even I think they even sponsor them, or it's the other way around. I'm not sure, and they have. Uh, fighters like Brian Stamm, who's a really good fighter, and he used to be a Marine in Iraq, and they call him a war hero. They also call Tim Kennedy, the strike force guy, a war hero. Now, those guys are great fighters, no doubt. Exceptional fighters. But, to call a guy a war hero, the guy who has gone to a foreign country, and he's fighting for big business interest, and not for the democratic values that they have uh, told us that they are fighting for, and have killed innocent people, I find that really problematic. And uh, I find the whole UFC and US Army collaboration disgusting and deplorable. So, uh, do, you, do you have an opinion on this subject? Well, it's a little touchy being an American citizen, you know. And, you know, I, I, I trained with Joe Rogan quite a bit, who was the announcer for UFC, who I have, like, mad respect for. The guy could have been a champion fighter himself. I mean, his skills are just extraordinary. And uh, plus, he's a really funny guy, like he is. his stand-up. So, you know, <clears throat> but I don't like that myself. I, I really don't. I just, I see through it as just pure marketing drivel, you know. Um, my feelings about the U.S., I think we should just keep our nose out of these other countries. I mean, that's just my opinion, you know. Um, it's really interesting how the military is popular and then it's really unpopular and it goes up and it goes down like during the my era when I was young the military was incredibly unpopular it was almost like people hated the military and anything it stood for like back in the the, the 60s and 70s you know and it was really unpopular right even through the 80s anything military was considered really frowned upon and then you know, after the 9-11 thing, people got, like, really raw-raw. They just needed someone to blame, someone to punch, you know. Uh, the military is now incredibly popular, probably at an all-time popularity. But it's hit its peak. Now people are beginning to talk again. They're getting tired of this war stuff. They're getting tired of having our guys in, you know, these th these different countries. It's... uh there's an outspoken group now that is totally against the war. You're seeing more war protests again. It's kind of gone full circle. I predict that anything military is once again going to be very unpopular. Just, you know, like the economy goes up, and then the economy goes down. Everything's great, and then everything's bad. Well, it's the same thing with popularity of different things. Right, you know, it's, it's, on, the, it's on the peak, and it's on its way down. I predict in a few more years that... Any mention of military and, and invasion and war is going to be very unpopular with the American people let's, until, until the next war. Yeah, let's hope so. Uh, and you mentioned Joe Rogan uh, uh, together with this subject. Uh, what, what exactly did you have in mind? Oh, I, I don't, you know, I mean, he makes his living from the UFC or like a big part of it, you know. So I have friends that make their living in MMA. Oh, okay. And I train okay. fighters. So I don't want to keep bashing the UFC. Their standards are much higher than a lot of other organizations. The true dirty business isn't the UFC. The, the dirty business of MMA is these starter organizations that are bringing guys up. That's where people get abused and used, and the, the club level is pretty ugly. And uh, But, be that as it may, if it wasn't for the UFC, these other organizations wouldn't exist. So, you know... Exactly, exactly, exactly. And uh, I also share your opinion about Joe Rogan. He's really funny. I think he's a really nice guy. Uh, so far that I have seen from the videos, he has a lot of smart things to say. And he's actually against the war, against the American involvement in other countries, which is surprising to me because he works for the UFC that, you know, supports... Uh, the American army invasion and everything else. So, but, uh, yeah, I completely agree with you. Uh, well, Stephen, 
Thank you very much for this interview. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for uh, having me. It was a lot of fun uh, meeting you and talking uh, and to you. It was, it was great pleasure. I love Serbia. I plan to be back here again, man. It's a great country, man. I'll tell you, the, if you want an awesome vacation, man, this is a nice place to come. Thank you very much. It was a, by the way, it was a, he held a seminar in Serbia, BJJ seminar. It was great, beautiful. So once again, uh, thank you very much. I hope to see you some next time in Serbia. Yeah, for sure. See you, man.